Could Airbus offer a cargo version of the A380 after all? Due to a cargo capacity shortage, Airbus is offering conversion kits to airlines to convert its A330 and Airbus A350 passenger aircraft into freight carriers. Under normal circumstances, around 50% of all air freight is transported in the belly of a passenger aircraft on standard routes. However, with current travel restrictions and aircraft groundings, freight forwarding firms are finding that they cannot get enough aircraft in the skies to meet demand. So much so that prices have nearly doubled for most cargo routes. This has led to some airlines re-entering the cargo market for the first time in decades, such as American Airlines after 36 years. Other airlines are retrofitting old mothballed aircraft into cargo carriers, and some airlines are even pulling out the seats of their passenger aircraft to fit in as much cargo as possible. So what are the new Airbus conversion kits? Well, these kits are simply a guide to removing the passenger seats. They detail what new cargo webbing needs to be installed, either purchased from Airbus or local sources, and what engineering work needs to be done. The most significant cost will be the labor required to unbolt each seat row and install the individual cargo pallets in their place. Some carriers with a complex premium product or luxury business class cabin may choose to leave these sections installed as it would take too long to disassemble. Once this conversion is complete, the aircraft will be able to transport more than double the cargo on its two decks. What is different about this kit conversion model is that the aircraft doesn't need to be flown to Airbus in France or Germany for conversion. Instead, Airbus wants operators to realize how flexible their aircraft are and have the option to convert their aircraft at their home bases. Once the conversion kits are implemented, the Airbus A330 can carry 7.3 tons of cargo and the Airbus A350 7.8 tons. The only disadvantage of these conversions is that cargo still needs to be loaded through the regular passenger doors. Here's what Airbus said to Forbes about these kits. This is a way to help in the fight against COVID-19 and ensure revenues for airlines. Helping the aviation industry address the high demand for humanitarian flights needed to transport large quantities of medical equipment and other supplies rapidly over large distances to where they are needed. Interestingly, these kits open the door for the world's first cargo Airbus A380. All A380s in the world right now are grounded and are too expensive to operate until passenger numbers return. But what if the passenger seats were removed and the aircraft was turned into a cargo carrier? With three decks, there would be plenty of room on board to store light cargo like PPE and medical equipment. While bulky, it's very light. The Airbus A380 has its flaws, but in today's situation, an airline that's willing to make the conversion of an A380 could also make a killing in the cargo market. According to Forbes, Airbus has not ruled out the conversion kit and coyly said, if there is a market, Airbus can propose a solution for any aircraft. So, what do you think? Should the A380 be converted into a cargo aircraft? Leave a comment below and let us know. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.